Welcome! In this video, we will demonstrate the complete rebuild of the Viking Pump GB410 series. This video will cover the steps for the GB41005, 1007, 1009, and 1013 models. Before you begin, please consult the appropriate technical service manual for safety information. A copy of the latest revision can be found on our website at vikingpump.com. Tools required include impact drivers, torque wrenches, soft-headed hammer, allen wrenches, o-ring pick, small screwdriver, snap ring pliers, hook nose spanner wrench, brake cleaner, o-ring grease, light oil, P80 assembly lubricant, anti-seize, shop towels, and a scratch pad. Included in your rebuild kit, you will find head end cap screws, drive shaft, driven shaft, drive pins, alignment pins, external retaining rings, drive gear, driven gear, bushing block gaskets, two bushing blocks, O-rings, mechanical seal, thrust bearing, seal washer, seal holder O-ring, snap rings, seal holder cap screws, and bearing end cap cap screws. Before you begin, placing a block underneath the pump may help with disassembly. To begin, use a 15 16 inch socket to loosen and remove the cap screws on the head end of the pump. Discard these cap screws. Remove the pump head. Remove and discard the bushing block and gasket, as well as the head o-ring. Remove and discard the driven gear and shaft, and the driver gear. Separate the pump bracket from the casing. Remove and discard the drive pin, bushing block and gasket, as well as the casing o-ring. Next, using the casing as a support fixture, orient the bracket into a vertical position to aid with seal removal. First, remove and discard the outer snap ring. Using a 3 16 inch Allen wrench, remove and discard the bearing end cap and seal holder cap screws. Set the bearing end cap aside for reassembly. To aid with seal removal, thread bearing end cap cap screws into the jack bolt holes located on the seal holder assembly. Alternate tightening these jack bolts to gently push the seal holder out. Remove the seal holder assembly and discard the drive shaft and seal components. Remove the seal holder o-ring. Retain the seal holder assembly and bearing end cap for reassembly. You may discard the other seal components. Prior to reassembly, ensure the pump head, casing, bracket, and seal holder assembly are clean and free of debris. It is recommended to complete all sub-assemblies before starting to rebuild the pump to ensure all components are in place. Begin by applying o-ring grease to the bushing block gaskets and insert them into the grooves of the bushing blocks. Do this for both bushing blocks and gaskets. Applying o-ring grease over the installed gaskets will help hold them in place during reassembly. Next, apply o-ring grease to the casing and head o-rings and place them into the o-ring grooves. Install the driven gear and drive pin onto the driven shaft and insert an external retaining ring on each side in the grooves. Apply light oil to the driven gear and shaft and install. Install new alignment pins into the head and bracket. It is now time to begin rebuilding the pump. For clockwise rotation, the grooves in the head will be on your right, with the top of the pump closest to you. Double check this orientation to ensure each pump component is oriented correctly. Apply light oil to the first bushing block and casing bores. Install the bushing block. When installed, make sure the bushing block pin aligns with the groove in the head. Install the pump head. Next, orient the pump into a vertical position to aid with the rest of the assembly. Lubricate the drive shaft with light oil and install the drive key and driver gear. Then, install the drive shaft into the top of the pump. 
Next, lubricate and install the driven gear and shaft assembly. Next, lubricate and install the second bushing block, ensuring that the bushing block pin is facing up, allowing for the proper installation of the bracket. Before installing the bracket, ensure that the bushing block pin aligns with the groove in the bracket. Install the bracket. Place the pump flat to install the head cap screws. Apply anti-seize to the cap screws and install. The head cap screw torque procedure involves three rounds. First, torque in a crisscross pattern to 50 foot-pounds, then 75 foot-pounds, then finally 100 foot-pounds. For seal installation, place the pump back in a vertical position. Next, using snap ring pliers, install the snap ring into the groove on the shaft. Make sure it is fully seated in the groove. Install the seal washer. Install the spring guide. Install the spring. Make sure it is fully seated on the spring guide. Ensure the seal holder assembly is clean and free of debris. Apply O-ring grease to the seal holder O-ring and install on the seal holder assembly. Install the stationary seal face with the lap side facing up. Apply assembly lubricant and press into place, ensuring that it is fully seated. Rinse the seal face with brake cleaner. Next, lubricate the shaft and rotary seal face with assembly lubricant and place on the shaft. You can use the seal holder assembly to press it into position. Ensure that it is fully engaged with the spring. Ensure that the slots on the seal holder are at the 3, 6, 9, and 12 positions. Apply anti-seize to the seal holder and bearing end cap cap screws. Install the seal holder cap screws. Using snap ring pliers, install the retaining ring into the groove on the shaft. Make sure that the snap ring is fully seated in the groove. Next, lubricate and install the thrust bearing. Make sure the text on the outer race of the bearing is facing out. Install the bearing end cap and install the cap screws. Torque the seal holder and bearing end cap cap screws in a crisscross pattern to 60 inch pounds. Next, install the final snap ring into the groove on the shaft. Pull up on the shaft to make sure that the snap ring is fully seated in the groove. Finally, turn the shaft manually to ensure the pump rotates smoothly. Because of the tight clearances, a spanner wrench may be required. Your Viking Pump GB410 series pump is now ready to be put back into service. For more information, visit our website at vikingpump.com.